Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspies Fanatics autographed jerseys, autographed authentic jerseys. This is a product curated by Jaspies exclusively for you from that Fanatics Authentic stock, which is pretty awesome. Big thanks to Blake Bynum killing off this break, chasing some jerseys. And thanks to everyone else who got into the action as well. Good luck to everyone. Here are the divisions right there, plus the soccer spot on the bottom. And there it is, two box random division number 10. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Three and a four, seven times. We'll randomize box numbers too. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got Rolando Lewis down to Blake Bynum. Last spot, Mojo in the last spot. Three and a four, seven times for the divs. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got the NHL Pacific down to the NFC South. Remember, as we go deeper and deeper into the uh, into this run, this print run, obviously towards the middle and the end, there'll be some divisions that just just we've just pulled all the hits for those divisions so keep that in mind trade at your own risk Shane's asking any chance victory racing could happen yes a great chance if those 10 spots sell out we can do it we can do it right now all right Rolando with the NHL Pacific Mark Passmore with the NFC North Blake with the AFC North Sean with the NL Central Blake with the AL Central Sean with the AL West Rolando with the NHL Central Blake NHL Atlantic AFC West, Cornelius with a soccer spot, Mark with the NHL Metro, NBA South East, and NFC East for Blake, Cornelius with the AFC East. Blake, you have the NBA Pacific, NBA Central, and NL East. Lucas with the NBA Atlantic, Blake, AFC South, NBA Southwest, NL West. Richard Johansson, NFC West, and AL East. He has the AL East up for trade. And Blake, last spot, Mojo, NFC South. Let's sort by column B. And uh, Richard doesn't like any of his. He, he can move the NFC West, too, if he gets the right offer. All right, now let's bring up a new list. Keep the same dice roll. Go back to this page right here. We've been keeping track of the boxes we've been opening. So we'll randomize this. Once again, three and a four, seven times. Top two boxes make it to the big leagues. They get to be popped open. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, box 43 and 40. I'm a man. I'm 40. Forty-three, and I'm a man. I'm forty. All right. Blake Bynum would be interested in the AL East. And West is Blake. No, <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be putting in a Ryan Leaf jersey in this set, Logan. We know what the people like. We want to deliver that. I don't think the people would be uh, would be into a Ryan Leaf autograph jersey. All right, so there is a deal. NL West is going to be traded for the AL East. And Richard Jansen, yes, of course, is on the West Coast, so he's more interested in things on the West. All right, so we'll put T next to there for trade just to see if... Uh, 
just to see if uh, we see who draws first blood in these trades. So let's also close up the trade window officially. Trade window closed. 43 and 40. Let's do this one first. Good luck, everybody. And we'll play a quick round of Who Am I? Yes, I will be revealing the sport first and Who Am I? So you'll know right away whether you're in on this one or not. All right. Who am I? I am an active football player. I am a linebacker. 28 years old, born in Fort Pierce, Florida. 6'3", 252 pounds. Played for two teams my entire career. I'm a four-time Pro Bowler. Still active. Three-time first-team All-Pro. I'm an NFL Defensive Player of the Year. Butkus Award winner, twice. I have 351 total tackles in my career, 53 sacks, 15 forced fumbles, five fumble recoveries, two interceptions, two defensive touchdowns. Why did we, why did we trade this guy? Went to college at Buffalo. Yeah, Ray's got, Adam's got it. Went to college at Buffalo, drafted in 2014, first round, pick number five. It is Khalil Mack Bears edition. Former Raider Khalil Mack. I guess the Raiders had to do it if they were going to hit the reset button again. Remember, these are authentic jerseys, boys and girls. So there's Mack right there. There's his 52. There's his autograph. You don't see a lot of Khalil Mack autographs. You got the big 52 on front. I think the Nike tags are still here. So you got the retail tag still here. Love all this stuff. NFL shield, laundry tags, Nike swoosh. On the side sleeve right here. NFL PA tag right there. NFC North. That is for Mark Passmore. Nice with the NFC North. Pull that up after the break. All right. So that's what's unique about this product that we curated for you guys, ladies and gentlemen. These are authentic jerseys. So even if you got the worst player in all of the jerseys that we picked, even if you got the worst player out of here, the jersey itself would still be like a hundred bucks. That's a cost. That's more than the cost of the spot. All right. Who am I? I am a basketball player, active basketball player. Played for one team my entire career. Um, I don't have a lot of uh, NBA stats because I'm only going into my second year. So last year was my first year. But in college, I was first team all SEC. I was an SEC freshman of the year, a McDonald's All-American, a Jordan Brand Classic, Nike Hoop Summit, Florida Mr. Basketball. Represented uh, the U.S. and won a gold medal in the U16, under-16 FIBA, America's under-16 championship in Argentina. And the following year, under-17 world FIBA World Championship, won a gold medal there too. Nice. And I went to Kentucky and was drafted in the first round last year. I was a top 10 pick. Who am I? Also, I'm terrible with basketball division. What division is this?
Ah, got it. Drafted first overall, or uh, sorry, first round, ninth overall last year by the New York Knicks. We should all get it now. And the Knicks are in the Atlantic division, so congrats to Lucas Snow with the NBA Atlantic. Yep, it's a Knox in the box. Kevin Knox. There's his autograph right there. There's the Fanatic sticker. There's Knox. There's the NBA logo. Let's take a look in at the jersey. I wonder if the if if there's all the retail tags right here too. I wonder if the Knicks you know, in their chase for like these monster free agents have maybe, you know, not dodged a bullet, but maybe they, they will get a blessing in disguise, a silver lining in guys like Barrett and Knox, right? Being, being able to play every night, you know, and, and growing into, they're super young and growing into, um, Good role over, over the coming years. NBA Atlantic is where the New York Knicks reside. Thank you very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Oh, we also have to get the hit list people into the hit list promo. So let's do that. Thanks for giving it a try, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I know, Blake. I, signed, I noticed that. A lot of spots in the hit list promo. But hey, break credit to be won, a $600 Austin Matthews jersey to be won. So you still have a second chance. 43 and 40 are gone. So get that squared away right here. All right, thanks everyone for watching. That was random division break number 10 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We've got like another, what, 22 breaks to go on this. And a lot of great jerseys still yet to be pulled. So check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.